math tune-up with Mr. Payne. Let's look at factoring hard trinomials using the box method. Now the box method is just an expansion of the way that you factor a simple trinomial. Let's use it to factor the simple trinomial x squared minus 6x plus 8. First thing you do is you take the coefficients in front of the first term and if you don't see one you can assume it's a 1. So my product is 1 times 8. I multiply the first term coefficient by the last term. That gives me 8. My sum is negative 6. I need two numbers that multiply together to give me plus 8 and add together to give me minus 6. If we look at the numbers, let's just try 4 and 2. 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 plus 2 is 6, but I want a negative number. So if I make both of them negative, negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6 and negative 4 times negative 2 is plus 8. Now I draw a box. I put my first term in the top left corner. I put my last term in the bottom right corner. And then I put this number with an x in one corner here and this number with an x in the other corner. It does not matter which of these goes in which diagonal corner. Now I start asking myself the question. I start in the top left and I look at the first row and I say, what is the biggest thing that divides into x squared and negative 4x? x goes into x squared and x goes into negative 4x. So I'm going to put an x there. Now I say, what do I multiply x by to get x squared? Well, the answer is x. x times x is x squared. What do I multiply x by to get negative 4x? I multiply it by negative 4. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Now I just say, what do I multiply x by to get negative 2x? Well, I multiply it by negative 2. Now as a final check, I just say, what is negative 4 times negative 2? Well, negative 4 times negative 2 is plus 8. Now I just read my factors off the sides. So one factor is x minus 2. The other factor is x minus 4. Let's now use this to solve hard trinomials. Hard trinomials have a number other than 1 in front of the x squared term. Let's use 6x squared minus 3x minus 3. Now, first thing I do is I multiply the coefficient of the x term with the last term. That gives me 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. My sum, that's my product, my sum is negative 3. So I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 18 and add to give me negative 3. Well, if I use 6 and 3, 6 times 3 is 18, but I want negative 18, and 6 plus 3 is 9. So I've got to figure out which sign I'm going to put it on. If I say plus 6 times negative 3, that would give me negative 18, but it would give me a plus 3x, which is wrong. So since the middle term is negative, the bigger number has to be the negative number. So I've got negative 6 times 3 is negative 18, and negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Now I draw a box. I put my first term in the top left corner, my last term in the bottom right. Then I put this term with an x in one corner, and this term with an x in the other corner. It does not matter which one goes where. Now I start the process. I say, what is the biggest thing that divides into 6x squared and negative 6x? Well, to start with, I can take out an x. x times x squared gives me x squared, or x times x gives me x squared, and x times 1 will give me an x. 
Now, I can also take out a common factor of 6. 6 goes into 6x squared. I put a 6 there. And 6x times negative 1 will give me negative 6x. So just recapping, 6x times x is 6x squared. 6x times negative 1 is negative 6x. 6x was the common factor of those two terms. Now, working down, x times 6x is 6x squared. And so I just ask, what do I multiply x by to get 3x? The answer is 3. So I can now have my factors are 6x plus 3 times x minus 1. If I'd like to factor that further, I can say, is there a number I can divide in still to get these smaller? Well, this first term, 3 goes into 3, and 3 goes into 6x, so I could take out 3 as a common factor. 3 goes into 6x, 2x times. 3 goes into 3, 1. And then x minus 1. Let's try another example. We'll say 4x squared plus 11x minus 3. Start off by getting the product of the outside terms. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and my sum equals 11, plus 11. So I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 12, but add to give me plus 11. The only ones I can think of are 1 and 12. Now, 1 times 12 is plus 12. I want a negative 12. I also need to have a sum that's positive, which tells me that the bigger of the two numbers is going to be the positive one, and the smaller one is going to be negative. So negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. Negative 1 plus 12 is plus 11. Now I draw my box. I put the first term in the top left, the last term in the bottom right. I put one of these guys in this guy, in that corner, and this one in the bottom corner. Let's start asking the questions. What term divides into both 4x squared and negative 1x? The only thing I can think of is an x. Now, what do I multiply x by to get 4x squared? That would be 4x. 4x times x is 4x squared. What do I multiply x by to get negative 1x? That would be negative 1. Now going down, 4x. What do I multiply 4x by to get 12x? That would be a 3. 3 times 4x is 12x. And then to check, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So my factors are... 4x minus 1 times x plus 3. That is the box method for factoring hard trinomials. Please revisit this lesson as you feel the need.